Obama AG Eric Holder blasts Trump, says we want the America of Obama. Former Attorney General Eric Holder was just as corrupt as his boss, Barack Obama. He still hasn't figured out why Donald Trump defeated Hillary Clinton. Now, Holder goes a step further and claims Americans want the America of Obama. He's nuts. From Washington Times Former Attorney General Eric Holder says he is glad to be unshackled from his old job because employment with the National Democratic Redistricting Committee lets him lash out at Republicans like Orange Man President Trump. Politico recently went on the road with the NDRC's chairman in Virginia for get-out-the-vote efforts on behalf of Lt. Gov. Ralph Northam, the Democratic nominee for Virginia governor. The former attorney general also told rising Mount Zion congregants that Mr. Northam's battle with Republican Ed Gillespie was important because debts have to be repaid. We need to send Donald Trump a message, Mr. Holder said, Politico reported. You're telling Donald Trump that's not the America I want. We want the America of Barack Obama. More from Politico. For a career prosecutor with little experience in campaign politics. It's a surprisingly hard-nosed strategy. The plan is to clock some wins in 2018, so that for the 2020 cycle they'll have both more big donors and more beachheads for wider efforts in state houses, with a boost of a presidential cycle. And then, maybe, just maybe, they'll be able to start digging themselves out of the hole Republicans have left them in from years of investing in down-ballot traces and outmaneuvering them in gerrymandering. For those who doubt all this redistricting stuff really matters, NDRC staffers point out that four of the nine House seats that Democrats flipped in 2016 were in Virginia and Florida, following litigation that changed the maps. That will keep Holder out on the trail, continuing his own years-long transformation from buttoned-down lawman to political elbow thrower, with the slight stiltedness that comes from not being at all used to this campaign business. You don't do politics when you're attorney general, but as a private citizen and as a defender of the Obama legacy, I'm free to say what I want and to say it in the way that I'd like to, Holder told me in an interview for Politico's Off Message podcast, conducted in a conference room at Rising Mount Zion after he was done roving up the congregation. I think what I'm doing now is really a continuation of that which I did as attorney general, speaking out for a more fair, a more just, a more equal America, talking about protecting voting rights, talking about criminal justice reform. Hey, Eric. Can you say delusional, delusional?